Anger, like fire, can be good at times, but it can also destroy the longer we hold on to it, ravaging relationships and lives. Why do we have it? And why is its grip so powerful? Hi, I'm Peter Montoya from Thrive Union, and I'll be sharing our current thinking on anger as part of our How the Brain Works series. Anger developed to help us react quickly to protect ourselves. It arises primarily from an ancient portion of our brain called the amygdala, which triggers automatic responses when we're threatened, commonly known as fight, flight, or freeze. When distinguishing a threat, the amygdala activates the hypothalamus, which tells our pituitary glands to release the hormones like the stress chemical cortisol, adrenaline, and norepinephrine. Before we're even aware, our body is flooded with hormones and neurotransmitters that shoot up our heart rate, energize our muscles, and increase blood pressure, all to get us ready to fight. Systems like digestion and vision are limited along with our prefrontal cortex, which controls reasoning. Our hippocampus quiets, reducing short-term memory and new memory formation. All this makes us impulsive decision makers who may say harsh words we don't remember after the fact. These reactions helped our ancestors survive wild animal attacks, but the long-term effects ravage our modern bodies. Too much anger compromises our brains and creates high blood pressure, heart disease, and compromised immune systems. Worse, the amygdala has trouble distinguishing modern slights from imaginary threats. So how do we manage our anger? Brain scans of murder show damaged or less active prefrontal cortexes showing that one key way to combat anger is to strengthen that area. But can you grow gray matter? Yes. Research shows that meditation has been shown to both shrink the amygdala and grow the prefrontal cortex. Research also shows that venting or suppressing anger actually builds it. Instead, mindfully observe your feelings or try reframing them. Imagine learning that the driver who cut you off just lost their child. Your anger would likely immediately turn into compassion. Our imagination can trigger the amygdala or quiet it. Try creating stories that reframe an offender's actions when there is no real threat. And don't forget meditation. Meditation is by far and away the best practice for reducing all recurring negative emotions. Changing how we approach our anger literally changes our brains. It frees us from the tyranny of automatic responses and helps us enjoy greater health, longevity, and fulfillment so we can thrive. Thrive Union is a real-world community and life school dedicated to human well-being. Our regular events include parties, game nights, supper clubs, hikes, and Thrive meetings to build deep levels of intimacy, empower us to grow, and improve our world. Our Life School provides educational videos, articles, conferences, and educational courses. Visit our website at thriveunion.org to learn more.